We woke up bright and early on day four of the road trip and made the short drive out of Donbass to Snohetta Mountain Viewpoint, a location Dan wanted to show me before we finally headed off towards Long. actually go inside so I'm gonna um, I was doing some filming on the X24 but um, it's so windy up here that I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be shaky as shit. So I'm just gonna show you around the area on the GoPro uh, just so you can appreciate how beautiful this uh, area is. So uh, let's have a look. Actually, sit in there, sheltered from the uh, from the wind, which would have been nice. After leaving Snohetta Mountain Viewpoint, we jumped back in the car and continued the journey on towards Lom. Right, so we're about half an hour away from uh, reaching Lom, and we just had to swing off the side of the road and uh, I've got to take some photos of this, but this is kind of a, um, a little bit of a teaser of what's to come in Lom, but uh, I couldn't drive past it without taking a photo and it is one of these epic churches. I've seen these all over Instagram. Just reminds me of the uh, the Viking series. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, basically grab some shots of that using the GFX 50S Mark II and uh, see what I can get. Right guys, we have made it to Lom finally, 
and uh, I'm going to show you now something that I've been looking forward to seeing ever since I booked this uh, trip to Norway and uh, if you guessed from the last location uh, well done 10 points to you but if you haven't already guessed what I want to show you right now is a stave church uh, in particular this one here in Lom which was built sometime in the 12th century around 1190 i believe but it's absolutely incredible let's go and check it out ah oh, here we go the stave church of lom Unfortunately, we can't go inside, but you can kind of see, look. This wood it's made out of. Nice detailing up there. I don't know whether you can see on the GoPro. I'll try and get some uh, close-ups with the camera, but look at the detail up there. Incredible, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. We have a problem. The drone? It's up there. How did you manage to do that? Well, I was trusting the, uh, the sensors on the drone, but uh, it didn't pick up the tree or anything nearby when I was uh, getting some detailed shots of, of the church. Uh, yeah, so now we have a recovery mission on our hands. <laughs> Not what we really wanted to happen when we were visiting this stave church, but let's try and figure out how to get his drone back. But there's no adventure until something goes to shit, and now the adventure starts. No truer words have been spoken. Right, let's figure out how to get this bloody drone back. Okay, so the situation is this. We are in a cafe right now waiting for the cover of darkness to fall before Mr. Daniel Bryn reenacts his childhood and hopefully climbs up the tree and rescues the drone. Uh, I've got maybe an hour, hour and a half before it gets dark. Um, this day has taken on a new kind of excitement. There's a new mission. Um, I'm glad that I got the footage that I got, but um, yeah, now we just basically have to stay here and recover the drone. That is the mission. How are you feeling about the mission, Mr. Bryn? What can I say? I feel quite good. I think at the end of the day, this drone will be down and I will be down safely. And uh, to save that awesome footage, getting some detailed shots of that stay church because it got some good moves there and that's worth rescuing, if not the drone. All right, so that's where we are. Uh, stay tuned for the rescue mission. Will we get it? Will Daniel fall off and break a leg? Will I get myself a free Skoda Enyaq and live out in the wilderness with the trolls? Who knows? But we'll find out next. Okay, the rescue mission is on. We've had to uh, move it forward because of the weather. I think now, it's now or never really. Yep. I think if we wait till it gets dark, it's just going to be even more dangerous.
You're almost at the branch. Steady. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's. Ah. Drone recovered. Check the damage in a minute. Mate, be careful on the way down. We have recovered the drone. Mate, that. You flew up there, I was worried. Just let's get the fuck out of here. I should have done it immediately. To be fair though, I wouldn't have wanted to do that. <laughs> you went up there like a madman. Yeah, but I was effective, wasn't I? That was quick. Yeah. Two minutes maximum. Yeah. Not even. Ooh. Not too These much. These things makes me come alive, sort of. But yeah, bye bye, church. And become majestical. Thank you for the awesome footage. Got it. Yes. <laughs> And with that, that is almost the end <laughs> of <laughs> the road trip. What an ending. Look at that. Mate, you should st uh, start a drone recovery service. Yeah.